Uh, we're a fully remote company, which is obviously amazing, but at the same time, it can be hard to really connect with your coworkers unless you do things like the retreat that we're on right now. As a company, we're completely remote and one of the challenges with a remote company has always been how do we make sure that the culture is right? How do we make sure all of our team understands each other, they work well with each other, they understand the nuances uh, of all of their teammates and that's a big challenge uh, with us being remote and what's really helped us solve for that is the offsites. I remember when I first started with High Level. Um, we always thought it would be super cool to have something like this, like a retreat for all of us to meet, and it's finally happening, which is super neat, and it's, it's extremely important to keep the culture alive. We get to, you know, talk stories, we get to, you know, pick the brain, and also, you know, kind of get to know each other on a different level, so it's extremely important. Absolutely incredible to finally, you know, meet the people that you speak with and you work with every day in real life, get to shake hands, hug, connect, eat together, drink together, uh, and it's just an incredible opportunity for us to come together. How was Japan when Jamna like? Was it a good decision to ban the Japan retreat? Yeah, it was the best. It was super cool, Japan, Tokyo. I think everybody had like an agenda as well in their head, like I can't wait to see this or I can't wait to see that. So yeah, the entire team has been super stoked to be here. This is like a, you know, once in a lifetime trip. We had an amazing four days inside Tokyo. We saw the culture we had delicacy that experience delicacy which were beyond our imaginations. Thank you so much Wonder and team and thank you so much obviously to our co-founders and senior management for helping us out and uh, like actually putting all of this together.